I'm tired of remakes, sequels, and prequels. I am over reboots, and I refuse to watch them. Hollywood is clearly going through some sort of crisis because the lack of originality and creativity is very much apparent. Everything seems so cliche, like we've seen it a thousand times. In action movies, and it doesn't matter what the movie is, it seems like at every action movie these days, for the past 20 plus years, there's always a scene where there's a huge explosion, right? And then like, you know, you got the big tough man, or even the woman that just slowly walks away from the explosion. A boat could explode, a car could explode, a damn house building, an apartment complex can explode. And they just seem walking away slowly. Like they just, just so unbothered. Like how many times are we gonna see this? I feel like the scripts are the same, the writing is the same. It's the same, you know, X plus Y equals B formula or A plus B equals C formula. The problem is Hollywood is getting by because of people's past nostalgia. They understand that a lot of things, especially in America, but I say worldwide, but especially in America, a lot of things have lost its, its specialness. It's like a lot of things have just gone down in quality. It's a decline in America across the board with a lot of things. But and more specific is the entertainment industry. So a lot of us, for myself, for an example, I'm a 90s baby. I still have fond memories of my childhood. I remember the television shows that were so good. We had all that. We had Rugrats. Back on the day when SpongeBob had just came out, it was so good. You know, it was just so many classic movies, you know, black movies, romance, fantasy, action movies, comedy series, comedy shows. And it's like, we will never capture that again. Why? Because not only is my, it's not just my generation, because again, like a lot of the higher ups who are keep doing these reboots, these prequels, these sequels, and these remakes, a lot of them are like old Hollywood stars or old Hollywood writers. They're, in their, they're like 55 plus. So you can't really blame, they say, oh, Gen X and uh, the millennials, they don't have any creativity. They're always sampling music and all the songs that nobody want to create new be beats. Uh, no, no one can create new beats. And you know, the, the writing is, is just so stale with these TV shows. It's like, we've seen this all before. We've done this before. Like, why do we keep on keeping on? This is also, it also exposes the problem that a lot of people, especially here in America, a lot of people are just completely unhappy with their lives. And we're so unhappy with our lives that we actually want to go back in time and relive the past and actually be able to cherish the moments. And again, our childhood, fond memories of our childhood and our teenage years, uh, our years as an adolescent, or as a young adult in our early 20s, I say below the age of 25 in our college years, because that's when everything was just not only were we coming up and that was our prime, so to speak, our prime. But that was when we first started experiencing new things, your first crush, your first romance, your first kiss, you know, your first sexual experience, you know, your first day of high school, your last day of high school, first day of college, last day of college. We're experiencing all these things. And while we were experiencing these things, it was TV shows that we were watching. It was books we were reading. It were certain uh, movies that had just came out, certain songs and albums that had dropped. And it's like now that we've grown up, right, and that we got bills, we got children to care for, we got spouses and homes and mortgages and rent to pay. We don't want to be reminded of the bullshit that we're going through right now. We want to take a, a, a trip back in time, right? When when we have fond memories again, like when, back in the days when we actually enjoyed our lives, we didn't have so many responsibilities and pressures on us every day to be an adult. So we, what, how do we go back in time? How do we make a time machine? We just make reboots, right? Just watch a prequel or a sequel, the same thing. I'm looking at you, Power, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones had a prequel. I was like, I refuse to watch it. I don't care how good it is. No, Game of Thrones was what it was, except for that last season. That's when they had us fucked up. It is what it is. I don't want a prequel or sequel. Let it lie with power uh, by 50 Cent. Again, Ghost de is dead. We don't need a prequel. Why do we have to do, you know, Raising Cain or, or uh, Raising Canaan? Like, no, if, if, it was, if it's so good, like, this is the thing. In a way, these writers, these, these film produ producers, these directors, they're cheapening their own brand they're cheapening their own shows their, their their tv shows their films their books by making it prequel sequel they're trying to capitalize and make as much money as they can you told a great story once you told her a beautiful story there is no need to keep making uh sequels and prequels maybe a sequel like a follow-up if there's like unanswered questions in that story i understand that don't get me wrong but when it comes to reboots or remakes like it's so many it's like it's so unnecessary like no let it let it be what it was let it be what it was that's it we done we moving on we got prince of the uh, fresh prince of bel-air reboot bel-air which i seen the first two seasons it, I ain't gonna lie, it was all right but um it was a bit too dramatic for me um like you know fresh prince of bel-air was more like you know light-hearted you know will smith 
but it was some things like you know he kind of touched on that was more deep and things such as that and um yeah, it was all right i call it reboot no sex in the city i think they actually in, the, in talks i've been talking talks of, about that for years i'm not sure if they actually are successful or they're still about to do it but again no we have boy meets world so guess what we need 25 plus years later think about it think about we need girl meets world no we don't next 90210 gossip girl reboots and remakes full house etc 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 the list goes on it's like listen all these shows that i named the reboots that i'm naming they were good shows at that time we were again we were middle school age elementary school age high school young you know college we were adolescents and it made us feel good you know the vampire diaries and pretty little Liza with so many good shows the grassy the grass of the next generation it's so many good shows i just like it's just like damn i wish so badly i could go back in time and actually be that age because i ain't have not a fucking bill to pay i ain't have a punk ass boss on my ass every day but it's like you know what it was what it was it's time to move on grow up and just let it be what it was but stop making these reboots, remakes, and prequels and sequels. You want to add a storyline in here before the story. Then you want to add a storyline in here after the story. No. I refuse to participate. I refuse to support any of this stuff. I'm not watching it. Sorry. Hollywood could hire new writers. They could hire, they could hire new people, new producers, filmmakers, creatives. Like me, I'm a, I'm a terrific writer. I, I believe I am. And um, my imagination is wild. It's not as good as when I was a kid again. When I was a child, my imagination was crazy. I used to write poems, short stories. I would write books. I would write, you know, rap songs. And, like my imagination, I could really like, you know, paint a picture. Like my storytelling abilities. And it's like the older I got, the more bills I have to pay. I ain't gonna lie. It's just not how it was <laughs> back when I was in middle school, high school, or even my college years. It's like the 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 longer you are alive, especially in the fucked up western world like america where credit scores and all this shit uh all this type of mess matters it's like your creativity and your originality is just more and more stifled. it's just stifled it's like it just it just disappears and it's so sad i refuse to watch remakes prequels sequels and reboots